Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Marcio Marinha here. Today, I'm bringing a very spooky topic, which is the worst nightmare of any developer or any aspiring developer on earth, which is, is coding really dead? Well, we will find out. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people discussing this topic on YouTube and other social media platforms, and I thought I really had to give you guys my take and my thoughts on this subject. Why? Well, because I've been a developer and a part of the tech industry for a very long time and I have seen many changes for the good and for the worst. I have seen progress, I have seen regress. Because of that and all of my experience, I feel I'm in a very good position to give you guys my take and also show you guys a clear picture of the current market and about what I think it's gonna be next, okay? Without further ado, let's deep dive in the video. Okay, now the first thing I have to do is to answer the question. Is coding really dead? Well, of course it is not. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. No, coding is not dead at all. I can assure you guys. Coding, Programming, software engineering is well alive, kicking and in high demand right now. Okay, now I feel like I really owe you guys a good explanation about my claim that coding is not dead. Let's talk about the current market landscape, what's, what has been happening on the market and all companies that use technology in general. As you may know, unless you have been living under a rock for the last few years, every single company nowadays needs technology to work. And more specifically, companies need software technology to work. So companies, they wouldn't be able to exist without software technologies. And software automation is a great part of our lives. And in order to create software to make companies to be profitable, to solve real world problems and to give customers products and services that is a need for us developers 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 okay more specifically now talking about companies and the job market i listed here a few tiers of companies that's totally subject to interpretation and totally arbitrary from my point of view we have big tech companies such as Fang or Mang, as you wish. So Facebook slash Meta, Amazon, Apple, Google, Netflix, Microsoft, and any other big tech companies. They rely heavily on software technologies and software engineers and developers. It is really hard to believe that they are gonna simply disappear out of thin air overnight. I don't believe they will. Amazon is still strong, Google is still strong, Facebook and Meta, they're still going through some problems, but these companies, they are still very profitable. They are not gonna cease to exist in anytime soon. Another tier of companies here are banks, because banks, they are in pretty much everywhere and they have a bunch of different technologies, platforms, programming languages, and so on and so forth. So they have in-house on-premises stuff, they have data centers, mainframes, a bunch of programming languages, a bunch of platforms, a bunch of old stuff, and a bunch of new stuff. Things that range from assembly to modern stuff, such as Golang, Python, and from in-house stuff to cloud computing. So they all need engineers and developers to keep their businesses running. Another class here that I just split from banks are financial institutions, because they usually have some regulations and stuff that are different from banks. So we have stock exchange, insurance companies, some brokerage, crypto companies, if you will, and many other financial related companies. They all need technology to work and they all need developers to work for them, to make their business run and to get money from customers. The well, last tier here are startups. These companies, they are kind of very specific in the way they use technology. Some companies, they are, for example, totally they totally run in the cloud. They don't have anything on premises. They run everything remotely. And yeah, they need developers, they need technology. Every single day there is a new startup being built 
or appearing on the market. Of course, right now, the market is a little bit weird because of a recession and a bunch of stuff that has been happening, some hiding freezes and layoffs. But with all that aside, because all of these things, they are subjects for another video, these companies, they are still on the market and they are not gonna vanish anytime soon. A few examples I can say, um, Canva, Epic Games, Databricks, and many other startup companies. And now, a little bit of vision for the future. In the past, we used to have those low-level programming languages where people used to code everything straight to the machine, to the registers and memory allocation and all that crazy stuff. And programming has been evolving to a more higher level environment because now we have higher level languages such as Python, Java with garbage collector, um, Golang, and many other languages that provides bigger abstraction for the developer. So the developer doesn't have to be worried about those nitty gritty stuff. We can focus on the problems we really want to solve without having to worry about all of this stuff. And also we have lots of frameworks, modern frameworks, such as, it's not that modern, but jQuery, you have AngularJS, we have React.js, have Spring, Spring Boot, Hibernate, and a bunch of other frameworks that they accelerate the coding of a solution. Nowadays, programming has changed from just doing everything manually to being able to master a programming language and also knowing how to put all of these frameworks and solutions together to create a solution for the customers, such as grabbing a few programming languages, something for the front end, something to the back end, doing microservices, also using the cloud and putting everything together and yeah, delivering the solution. This is the trend and it's not gonna be going away in anytime soon. Another thing is that nowadays there is a so-called no-code solutions. These are tools anyone can simply sign up and start building their own applications just in drag and drop. This will slowly change how programming works, but again, we are not gonna vanish. There is still a need for developers, specifically for developing those tools as well, and also to keep maintaining all the existing technologies and frameworks and businesses. And also, all of these platforms, they cannot solve all problems at once. There is no way they can simply foresee all requirements that any kind of company needs. There will always be the factor that there will be some specific problems that there is a need for a developer to solve. Now, just to give you guys a quick summary, no, programming, coding, software engineering is not dead. I do believe it's not gonna die in any time soon. What has been happening is a shift or a change on the way we see coding and how the way we develop software solutions. Now it's a kind of Lego. We can just build a new solution using those building blocks, using programming languages, using cloud computing and many other things. It's gonna keep evolving and let's see, maybe in the future will be obsolete, who knows, maybe not. It's really hard to do an accurate prediction, but we'll be on the market for a very long time. Keep your eyes open with those trends and those changes because we have to learn, we have to adapt, and we have to be ready for new things, okay? I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Please click on the like button, also subscribe to my channel, and also click on the bell notification so you not miss any of my videos. i see you guys next time.